What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another dope YouTube video. Now, don't you want to make something dope like that intro for your videos? Well, today I'm going to show you how. We back again creators. Yes, sir. So if you're new here, click that bell and hit that red subscribe button for the kid so you don't miss a drop, man. I appreciate all the support. We just hit 6K, baby. We on a roll, man. I really support everybody copping up on the assets, watching the videos, man. I really appreciate the support and it's keeping me motivated to keep going above and beyond creating dope and more dope, dope videos for you guys. Now, for this particular video, I've seen this effect done on Nitev's page, I think his name is. And he does a lot of editing for Ye and other people like that. So I figured it'd be a dope video to try to create something dope like a motion collage since we're already doing motion collage and After Effects this month. So I, fi I figured we just stay on theme with motion graphics. Now, just like other creators, I get inspired by things I see too. So I figured he had a real dope idea and a real dope scheme. So I figured I'd try to do something like that again and break it down and show you guys how I did it. I did it back before with the K-Camp video. So if you guys wanna check that out, you can check that out. I'll leave a card up here so you can look at that old video. So it's basically a collage, but it's just animated collage. So we're, we're staying on theme once again, theme with the animated collages. And it is a collage, but it's a moving collage. Now you're gonna be moving through 3D space, which is another level. Before we did it with 2D, before we did it with it going across, so now we're going through 3D space and adding different elements. So I think that should be really cool. So we're gonna mostly be using a lot of future pictures and a lot of uh, future inspired things. I think I got a couple of elements off of Envato Elements and I feel like I got a couple of music videos offline. So I use those to add on to create this collage. Sorry guys, this is a little bit of an advanced, advanced tutorial because we are using After Effects, 3D cameras and Photoshop. So if you don't have some sort of idea of what After Effects is and how to use it, go check out some videos on the basics and how to get um, comfortable with the tools. Once again, I taught myself After Effects. No one taught me how to do it. I just watched a bunch of tutorials. I figured out what each tool did and I figured out how to create what I was trying to create using null objects, 3D cameras, and keyframes. After you learn all the tools in the program, playing around with it um, from different programs, you'll be able to, you know, learn after effects so like again like i said this is an advanced tutorial sorry for the beginners if you guys wish to watch and see what you're going to be able to do soon then check it out i hate wrapping you guys up let's hop into the computer and let's get to it yes sir okay guys so to begin with this one we're just going to go ahead and load up all the assets i like to use Photoshop to load up my assets for After Effects and set everything up. Cause sometimes After Effects can be a bit confusing with all the pre-composing and the way it's laid out a little bit. So I like to use it in Photoshop and then just drop the Photoshop document in there with all my nested sequences and everything like that, how I want it to kind of look. And since we're working with 3D layers, it's the same as a Photoshop layer. Like you just gotta think of it like that. I just break down layer by layer how I want each motion clip to be because remember it's still a motion picture so each clip has to have a certain set of motions or a certain, a certain set of effects or some sort of task going on for each second that you create. So we're just going to load up right now a bunch of photos I've got of future and we're going to pretty much start cutting it out. So the basis of this is still collage like but it's not really. I'm gonna use the collage to do a few like uh, photo transitions. But other than that, it's mostly just gonna be placing things in certain places. So that's when I'm about to load up Photoshop right now. So right now, what I'm gonna do is start laying out all the, the Photoshop stuff. And I didn't wanna spend too much time on this. Most of this effect is in After Effects. So I wanna get to that, but I just wanna show you guys how you wanna layer it up. But if you already had it in mind and you already got your layers, you can go ahead and skip ahead. I'm just gonna speed through me layering up my things and explaining what my Photoshop document is before bringing it in to After Effects. When you're creating and layering all your things, make sure you're picking out things that you know you wanna pop. So like if I wanted the jewelry to pop or I wanted the 
glasses to be cut out and having a light sweep across the glasses you want to keep these things in mind for the effects that you want to do in after effects because that's why it's kind of the after effects after you kind of already layer everything up so i'll probably do something in the window here you know what i'm saying do something where it's like all right it's floating right here boom then it kind of glides into this window and then the window is going to drop and then we're going to have the next scene so just when you're layering up just make sure you're keeping these things in mind and also when you're creating so i created this window here so i already know the window when i get in there you can see just to practice some of the effects i know for a fact it's going to just slide down like that and i'm going to zoom into the next effect right so if I wanted to, you could cut out the hand and have the hand like floating a little bit just so it has some motion when it first starts. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna have the, mo the hand moving up and down a little bit and then I'm gonna have the light sweep across and then we're gonna look in here a little bit and then we're gonna zoom into the next clip. So that's how I'm breaking down some of my layers. Like I said, I'm gonna speed through this. I just wanna stop and talk through some of the talking points that you might come across when you're creating your motion graphic. And you could do this by simply, you know, I don't know if you guys saw my last tutorial about how to make an animated cover art. Go check that out. I'll put a little card up here so you guys can go watch that so you can get like more in depth on how to do like content aware fill. But pretty much you're just cutting it out and then content aware fill. So underneath doesn't show anything. There we go. You want to get a good cut of it too. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Then we got future. Remember, name them layers, man. Makes life so much easier. We got the arm here. Then we're gonna just fill this in, select that, modify, expand it by like three. Edit, content aware fill. Boom. And as you can see, it looks pretty good to me. I'm just gonna go ahead and okay that one. We merge those, turn the arm on. So now we got the arm. And then just so you can know what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be moving the arm something like that. You feel me? So now y'all can start seeing what you want to do in post. Boom. Go ahead and make sure we don't move it like that. There. <clears throat> And I think, I, I think that's all I want to do for that. And I'll probably do some stuff where it's like a glow. And then for that, we're going to go ahead and make it a group. We're going to name this Future One. Because when you create it as a group Photoshop, it creates it as a, a pre-composed sequence already when you um, add it into After Effects, when you just drop your Photoshop file in there. So do it, instead of doing a, um, a smart object, because a smart object has a lot of different variables in it, I always just do groups because it creates a pretty much a transfers as a pre-compose. So yeah, we're gonna continue on um, creating these layers. So pretty much right now, I gotta figure out what's gonna be next after we go through the wall, uh, go through the car. So we're going outside the car. So let's probably do something along those lines. All right. So also when you're creating, you gotta layer certain things so it looks kind of different. So the inspiration I had, had a lot of uh, characters moving around in it that made it, you know, creative. So you could just have this picture from the outside of the car to the outside of the car, cool. But what would make it like even more elevated? So we're gonna take this clip right here. We're gonna be standing on top of the car too. <clears throat> because remember, you can use any clips that you guys want. So go ahead and rasterize that. We're gonna go select subject. And if we made a pretty good cut, we're gonna go select uh, edit cut right there. Make it a V, save this one, move this one. We'll probably save this one for later on. So now we got this one. We just want to clean it up just a little bit around the feet area. That make it a little bit smaller. <clears throat> then you got him stepping stepping on the whip like this. 
maybe he make it a little bit smaller so it looks like him looking at himself stomping on the lip that's pretty cool that's cool and i'll probably do like an explosion or something besides that and then i'm probably gonna have the background separate and split into something else so i'm gonna rasterize this one i think we can use the match one for this one because it's pretty so now you got this sliding into this next we're gonna do some explosions and stuff maybe do some stuff with the background it's pretty plain background so we could do a lot with that an explosion something like that um now after we have an explosion or something like that hmm I want black on black, white on white. So we still in the dark phases. So then we'll have explosions and stuff. And then we'll go into this one right here. But on this background, we'll have. Okay, so now when you keep it in mind. So now I'm gonna have this one. I'm gonna separate the ground from him, right? So then maybe he can move his leg like he's walking type type vibe. And then I also have some of this video or something like a video. I'll probably put the video playing in the background, screened on top of the background. And then from there, I'll probably zoom in into the money or something like that. So I'm just giving you guys a thought process into how I'm creating as I'm layering up my layers. So you don't think like, oh, it's just... Oh, you just created some layers and threw it up together. Like I said, I'm going to put this video in two parts because it's a pretty lengthy tutorial. But like I said, I just want to put the generics and then <clears throat> so you guys get the basics. I can't really show you each little step I've done, but I can give you the pretty much the outline and the process behind the creation. So then you guys can try it out for you guys selves and implement it how you want to implement it. But yeah, we're just going to speed through pretty much the rest of this and then I'm going to discuss the thought process behind all the layers and how I'm going to create those in After Effects just to make it quickly. So the rest of this is going to be sped through. Okay guys, it took me some time to go ahead and lay out and start cutting out some of the assets I wanted to layer my in my After Effects file. So we're in Photoshop right now. And first we're gonna open up with this. As you can see, each layer is layered individually for their group. Future one, two, all the way through the transitions that I'm gonna use on them and things like that. So this first feature has a few different assets in it. Like I said, the arm, the window. So we're gonna go through the window into this scene he's looking at this we're going to do some stuff with the background and we're going to um like slide him in a few times type thing like do some clones then from there we're going to separate the background the background's going to split and then you're going to see this and then we're going to bring this um this future here we're going to bring that in he's going to do some cool things this future is going to do some cool things maybe slide in slide in we're gonna have a music video screened on this background here. And then we're gonna transition and zoom warp into the, his hand where the money is. The money's gonna bring him smoke in. We're gonna have like some smoke going. We're gonna have the light sweep real quick. This one popping in, that's it. And then popping out, then we're gonna separate it, split it. 
I know I'm, the way I'm talking is pretty kind of fast, but this is how my mind thinks. Then we're going to have this one. This eagle is going to pop in. This guy right here is just going to pop in from the bottom. He's just going to pop in like that, pop out, maybe spin up or something like that. Then we have the chain. The chain, we're going to make the chain do a 360 type spin type thing. You feel me? And then that one's going to explode with like some snow or something like that. Or the eagle. The eagle's going to probably sweep across into the next transition then we'll have this we'll have some explosions going on in the background his leg is going to be swinging we're going to have oops future in here popping in and then we're going to go through this frame right here and then this frame is going to have like several infinite type thing and then we'll probably eventually end up just going through the frame after we go to the frame we'll end up on this future right here his head is going to bob a little bit the chain is going to glow a little bit then that's it, it's pretty much gonna dissolve into this collage transition. Right there, it's gonna be on top. It's gonna come and cover this one right here. And then you're gonna have this, after that, it's gonna come in, cover it up, and then reveal this. His arm's gonna be swinging, and then we're gonna go back into the glasses, and then the glasses is gonna loop back to the beginning where he's sitting in the car. So. That's pretty much that. You're gonna turn all these layers on, make sure everything is saved. And then now we're gonna jump into After Effects. Mm -hmm.